and we are live. Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us, sommelier.finance, uh, at our liquidity provider AMA. So this is liquidity provider AMA. We do two, twice weekly, uh, usually on Wednesdays and Fridays. And today we have a awesome, awesome guest for all the liquidity providers out there in sommelier. Uh, and if you want to know more about Similia, you can check us out at Similia.finance. And uh, we have an amazing lineup today. Um, two great uh, uh, folks are joining us, uh, Zucky Manian, co-founder Similia, and as well as Hacker, Hacksor, I, Hacker, <laughs> you're going to correct me, um, <laughs> I'm such a boomer, uh, Hacker uh, from uh, Method Finance. And today we're going to talk about NFT vaults and liquidity mining with nft vaults we think it's something awesome it's so perfect if you're looking to understand uniswap v3 and method finance has been doing this for quite some time so we'd love to essentially learn more about what they're doing um share it with the community so that you can get involved also i want to make sure uh hacker are we going to need one piece of alpha i know that method finance is doing some cool stuff so if there's any secret alpha you want to drop on this stream you can do so and zucky you can do so as well so everybody says the greatest thing they like about these broadcasts is the little alpha nuggets that folks get and they jump on and they get to take advantage of so if you're here and you're listening there is alpha for you so first of all let's start with introductions zucky greetings welcome happy to be here uh yeah uh i'm zucky co-founder of sommelier uh working on bringing the protocol to life Fixing test cases right now, you know. That's right. <laughs> and and uh, Sommelier Protocol, what does Sommelier Protocol do? Sommelier Protocol, Sommelier Protocol will, is sort of taking the Cosmos Bridge technology and using it uh, to manage liquidity positions, uh, Uniswap V3 and beyond. Awesome, congrats and uh, uh, welcome. Next up, Hacker, Hacksaw, how should I pronounce? Hacksaw, Hacksaw is good. So yeah. So yeah, I'm one of the developers on Method Finance. Um, we, we've been working on this for about three months now. The idea is to you know, make uh, liquidity mining more secure by you know, letting people uh, lock their LP tokens in a vault instead of a staking contract. Excellent, excellent. And and let's jump in. How long uh, has Method Finance been around? When were you guys founded? And, and what brought you together to launch this initiative? We've been working in this space for about four years now. Um, um, been contributors to a few projects. Uh, we worked mm -hmm. at companies uh, that are well known in the space. Um, so we've been keeping, uh, keeping an eye on what's happening in DeFi and NFTs. And uh, there was there are a few projects that try to bridge NFTs with DeFi, um, and we kind of took our inspiration uh, from one of, from one of them, and uh, we thought it was a really cool use case for NFTs. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, we launched our first version I think in April, uh, the first week of first week of April. Yeah, mm -hmm. that the wall could lock any ERC twenty tokens inside it. Um, right. The idea is to. Uh, have Uniswap LPs or Compound LPs, like anyone who is providing a liquidity uh, uh, mm -hmm. to a DeFi protocol, stake their LP tokens to the vault and still mm -hmm. earn uh, the uh, the protocol token. Uh, like, uh, the, the rewards that the protocol gives out in the in the form of the token. Of course. Now, why? Wh what was the demand that you saw that people wanted to stake their LP tokens into the NFT vault, like? What what happened that said this is something that must we got to do this? Well, to be honest, it's a new a net new concept. Uh, it doesn't. I mean, it didn't exist before we uh, built this project. Like people were uh, familiar with a few projects that are you know, trying to do the same thing. Uh, but I think the concern, I think the major concern we are trying to address is uh, try to reduce the the surface area uh, for attacks, right? Mm -hmm. um, so there is a. So there have been drug pulls. Uh, there have been bucks in staking contracts that allow people to uh, withdraw their LP tokens and you know get more rewards than than they should have. So yes. uh, we saw this as an opportunity to kind of 
do uh, the whole liquidity mining in a new way and uh, mm-hmm. yeah we found traction and in the i think in the first day or the first 24 hours after we launched uh, a thousand nfts have been minted uh, you know even when the gas fees were like hundred dollars to mint uh, an nft like people have minted them and uh, started taking started uh, staking method tokens uh, which is yeah. our like protocol token uh, and started earning rewards And I guess, you know, once you started doing this, how, how big has the NFT vaults grown? So how much liquidity or TVL have, have locked into Method Finance? Um, I think at its peak, we had around, um, I think in the, in the high, high uh, single digit millions or low uh, double digit millions. I don't yep. know the exact number, mm-hmm. but... Um, so that was when we, had, when we had the APY very high, right? Because we were a new project and uh, a lot, I mean, a lot of people didn't know about it. So yep. uh, we had a constant uh, rewards per block. So, and they're proportionally distributed. So there are not many people who are participating in the, in the, the program. So the per head APY is pretty high. Um, but uh, yeah, so we are, we are working on getting some partnerships in place, which I'll drop the alpha at the end of the CMA. Uh, of course. So I think that will be the, the first use case uh, that I think the first case when uh, where an external project uh, mm-hmm. actually uses the, the walls we built. Now, I see that you guys, um, you know, talked about the universal universal vault standard uh, from Ampleforth. What's what's that about? Can you tell us a little bit more? Um, it's a so they're trying to standardize a way for external like DeFi projects to interact with uh, uh, with something, this is something called a vault, right? Mm-hmm. So you can think of vault as a wallet that mm-hmm. uh, uh, that is programmable. Great. So if you if you look at MetaMask or you know Argent or any of these uh, wallets, uh, they're not super programmable. I mean they, I mean they can be integrated uh, with DeFi protocols, but it's no there is no standard interface. Uh, to, to interact with the vault or the wallet. So that is what the universal vault standard is trying to do, is to mm-hmm. create this generic standardized interface uh, so that developers can easily build integrations uh, with the vault itself. And how is the standard coming along? Uh, you know, I know Ample Force sponsored it, you know, and 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 uh, Method is using it. Has it grown Has a lot of projects sort of taking it on? What's, what's your view on the uptake? Not in a standardized way. Uh, but a lot of I mean, I've I've come across a lot of projects that are you know using the same concept. Uh, mm-hmm. A recent example is uh, Titan, uh, mm-hmm. which imploded yesterday. So they have. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was, there you uh, go. But that was a, that was a sad story. But um, yeah. I hope no one no one got wrecked. I mean, at least in this call. Um, right. They had. If you go to if you go on their uh, UI on the web interface, you'll see. Mm-hmm that there is a functionality, there's a feature where you can mint a vault mm-hmm. and uh, uh, stake your tokens into the vault. So that is yeah. exactly what we what we are doing right now. So projects are adopting the idea, but uh, I don't think there's still a consensus on what the standard should be or what the standard should look like. Um, yeah, but I, I, think it, I think it would require more coordination between developers like getting on a call and like trying to decide yeah like yeah. what the yeah. what a standard looks like got it no agreed okay so let's talk a little bit now about uh you know we talked about how uh method got started the nft vault journey uniswap v3 appears uh what are what was methods finance thoughts and and how that became relevant to what you were doing we initially thought about using the vault to manage the position across ranges uh, in, mm-hmm. a V3, uh, in a V3 pool. Uh, yep. But we kind of decided not to do that because uh, there's uh, there's one other project, there's at least two other projects that I know of that are trying to do the same thing. Um, so we wanted to stick to our original vision of uh, using the vault as a secure place to, to store the LP tokens and, yes. uh, and use that for liquidity mining. Uh, mm-hmm. So we are still, so we're still working on that idea. We're still trying to, uh, you know, put that get uh, or get that message out in the world uh, that there is a better way of, uh, you know, staking 
uh, and and participating in liquidity mining. So we we didn't want to like you know pivot uh, like three or four weeks after we launched. How is uh how's it, you know how's it going with this with like sticking in general in Uniswap V3? You know, there's there's a lot of work going on in sort of the sort of official Uniswap V3 staking contract. How does that relate to what you guys are trying to do? Uh, to be honest, I haven't uh, provided any liquidity uh, to any V3 pool yet. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like they they overcame the uh, the volumes or the uh, the TVL uh, a week after they launched. So I guess it's uh, I guess it's more efficient and people are finding it more uh, you know well built um, and is giving them higher returns. So I think it was I mean. Uh, I mean, Soleimani, uh, I think he said he made like $5,000, uh, right. in a, yeah. in a, in a day or so, mm -hmm. um, you know, so I think that's capital efficiency, right? I think that's, that's a very good, uh, thing because if the capital is more efficient in, in okay, that, in that gets market. to a really good point, which is what does capital efficiency mean for liquidity mining? Uh, I guess, uh, the rewards you are generating per unit of capital. Uh, is higher uh, because previously you had to lock up, let's say, a ten million dollars to generate a a ten percent return. I, I guess you could do that with one million now, because especially if you are uh, providing liquidity to to a stable coin pool like USDC slash USDT, uh, you don't have to spread your liquidity for for a big for a big range i think right so you can uh, you can say all my capital will be provide will be used for providing liquidity between 99 cents and and, and a dollar and a cent um yeah so so i guess the but so okay so that's good one of the things i'm um making sure i understand is that your you have a staking contract on uh uh for or you're doing liquidity mining on uh your nfts um the question then i have is is your approach effective in the uniswap or have you tested it in the uniswap v3 world and you know uh is, is you you said you had a roadmap uh, um but you know is this is there a strong commitment to your team to to continue to explore your particular approach to liquidity mining on Uniswap V3 or or maybe look at others or or something else? Uh, no, we're not doing anything in, uh, with, with Uniswap V3. Um, okay. I think like Wiser and Elixir are the two projects that, uh, that I came across that are trying to do it. Yep. Um, so I guess there is no need for us to do it uh, also. So I haven't explored like how to, you know, maximize returns. And I, I'm not super familiar with how the, like, as Saki was asking, like, I, I, I don't know how, uh, providing capital to a specific range, uh, you know, generates high returns per unit of capital deployed. So mm -hmm. we haven't been exploring that space, um, cause you know, uh, other people are working on it. Yep. So yep, yep. Innovation. Got it. Got it. So when we think of, you know, what's next for Method Finance as we, you know, crank through the second half of this year, what's your vision for where you want to take the the, the NFT vaults of Method Finance and 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 how it will, you know, sort of grow and continue to flourish in DeFi? Uh, we want to get a few external projects or, you um, know, um, External projects. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't want to drop the drop the name right now. But <laughs> no, no, it's okay. You can be very <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm trying to see how to answer the question. Um, <laughs> yeah, we want to see it uh, being used in the wild. Um, okay. So right now, the only uh, token that has been used for uh, liquidity mining is our own token. Right. Um, so we're trying to get partnerships with uh, uh, other projects to use the vault. Uh, the Got it. standard or the wall tech to, mm -hmm. to run their liquidity mining programs. Got it. Okay. So, so like you're, you're looking to essentially focus on developers and say, Hey, listen, yes. come, 
come use you know the method finance liquidity mining uh, implementation and 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 partner up with us there. So um, in terms of uh, you know looking again in the broad space of DeFi and the changing nature of AMMs, are you affected by how the AMMs are battling and changing, or it really doesn't matter for where you guys are at and where where you and the folks that you want to partner up with and and how you want to take things forward? I've, um, that's an interesting question. I think as long as there is a concept of a pool and yep. people are providing liquidity, liquidity to the pool, there is yep. going to be something that represents their share in the pool, which yep. right now is a LP token, right? So as yep. long as that doesn't change, what we're building mm -hmm. uh, will still be useful. Uh, maybe we'll see uh, a new design for exchanging value that doesn't involve a pool. Um, yeah. In that case, then we might have to like see, uh, like how to like modify our like our tech or like what we're building to suit that use case. Got it. Got it. Thank you. That's awesome. Uh, and how big is your team right now? Just curious a little bit more. Color and team. I know you had there's some team members here. You you had a, a new UI UX. You had a rebrand that looked re really awesome. Congrats. H how big is your team? Uh, I have five people. Got it. And are you bringing people more people on? Are you looking for more folks to, to join and uh, come on the Method Finance journey? Uh, yeah, there is a rough idea right now to uh, create a DAO uh, and come up with an incentive mechanism for anyone to contribute to the project in terms of yep. writing code, um, you know, uh, writing docs and creating uh, education materials, all of that. Um, so we might not hire anyone full time. Uh, we're more mm -hmm. uh, kind of looking for a DAO structure where people yep. can contribute what they can, and yep. Um, yep. and you know get paid for doing that. Got it. All right. Cool. Cool. Uh, Zaki, any questions uh, from your side before we jump to the audience? I'm good. Okay. And so Zaki, just you know your thoughts. You've seen you know you're seeing a lot of work being done on staking. Uh, um, and liquidity mining in Uniswap v3. Do you think? What's your thought about the Uniswap v3 uh, staking contract progress and and what eventually will be available? For I mean, I think we found a couple of like interesting like market dynamics, right? Um, you know, on one hand, there are a lot of projects that have their liquidity uh, uh, LP tokens sort of locked in uh, 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 to uh, Uniswap v2. Uh, or sushi swap, um, so you know the the migrations are going to take some are going to take some time and maybe potentially driven a lot by new projects uh, into the yeah. Uniswap V3 world. But you know we've also I think projects are also going to quickly realize that they can get sort of a lot higher like once once you get your Uniswap V3 liquidity mining program like tuned right, um, you can get a lot higher impact than right than in uh, in V2. Um, for the, for uh, and that I think it's going to sort of unleash sort of a, a new generation of liquidity mining innovation. So so what's your so so is your view that what is your view then as to how capital efficiency will impact liquidity mining in that in this new Uniswap v3 NFLP world? So I think there's two things. I think. One path, one piece of it is is that there's going to be like a sort of uh, um, there's going to be a general market for like make it easier to liquidity mine um, mm -hmm. uh, because the you know the the sort of direction that method finance is going in is you know building tools for liquidity miners uh, treating liquidity mining is just going to be stand you know liquidity mining is going to become just standard part of a sort of DAO operations um, right. Um, you know, it already is, and it will it will go further than that. Um, but it, but you know, again, there's it needs to be it, there's enough complexity here that it needs to be sort of bundled and repackaged. Um, and you know, there's going to be sort of allocations of liquidity mining to automated re, like automated vault solutions. Like here, like put your liquidity in this vault. The vault yeah. will ensure that it is concentrated appropriately. And yeah. uh, and we'll just reward you for 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 going to the vault, and you'll see vaults from Sommelier and Lixer and Visor that enable this form of liquidity mining. Um, yeah. 
And then on the on the other side, they'll they'll probably there is probably going to be a space for having a program of you know letting people just choose their own ranges, um, uh, which is more like the Uniswap V3 staking contract. Um, right, right. And so I think you you know once these things are up and running, DAOs can just in in instantiate tokens into you know these into these into a, into a ver allocations between them. Mm -hmm. uh, and then sit back and kind of know that their token is 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 going that their their the liquidity for their token is going to be taken care of. Got it. Uh, which leads me to ask then: Is there a world in which uh, maybe a method finance vault can leverage Sommelier for for automation uh, and and the validator set? Is is that something that would be possible? I mean, the the LP tokens from these sellers are going to be are, are are very much like the sort of Uniswap V2 model. So if you can build a, a wrapper around uh, uh, Uniswap V2 tokens, uh, probably the easiest thing to do would then just sort of start adopting uh, automated rebalancer Uniswap V3 tokens, possibly to the same thing. So you know you can you can run a liquidity pro mining program where someone's like, hey, I have. Uh, I want to liquidity mine V2 and a V3 vault. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, that's an interesting hack. Hacks are release me as this next question. Um, you know, if you were to say, you know, our focus is more on the V2 right now versus V3, uh, and liquidity is moving to, v, you know, migrating to V3. Uh, you know, is is Uniswap V3 on the roadmap in the near future and a further long future for you guys? We definitely talked about it, um, mm -hmm. and we want to be differentiated. So we want to have, we want to build features that are not being offered by other projects. Um, right. But uh, it, it wouldn't be too hard for us to, you know, impart uh, the V3 liquidity managing functionality to the vault. Yeah. Uh, so we definitely have uh, that on the back of our minds. Um, if the mm -hmm. community wants it, if they want to, uh, you know, have this feature integrated with the vault, I think we, they will definitely build it. Awesome. Okay. All right. We'll see. Let me see if there's any questions from the community. Let me check in on the Sommelier channel, and uh, let me check in on the Method Finance channel. And uh, I think somebody was showing they had some audio problems, and so uh, thanks for letting us know. I think, uh, let me just ping Mario. Mario, any questions? And forgive me if anybody's hearing me type. I think we're, other than that, we're nearly there, checking in, checking in. And, uh, okay, so no questions from community, um, maybe also because I had some technical errors on Periscope here, but again, we're, we're this is new for us, so we're making sure to see which is the medium that will be best. Uh, okay, I think, uh, all right, so it's, now it's time for alpha. Haxar, now let us drop the magical alpha. Do you have some secret alpha that folks need to, who've yeah, waited so, it so we, long? <laughs> we, we've been working on trying to get a project to use the, the vault. Um, yep. And we found a project on Polygon. They're called Black Swap. So all right. we will be launching a, uh, a liquidity mining program uh, next week. Okay, hold on. Let's slow it down. If you're on the stream or you're listening to recording, secret alpha for today is Method Finance launching new partnership with BlackSwap. Uh, whoa, somebody said the audio dropped. Sorry about that. Um, okay, thank you for the note. Uh, noted. So we'll repeat it again since the audio may have dropped. Uh, a Polygon pro uh, project, BlackSwap in partnership with Method Finance. Any specific day next week that folks should make sure to be to be in the Method Finance community to keep track of? Yeah, we're still figuring out the final details. I think it will be on Monday or Tuesday. Got it. Okay. And uh, so folks need to jump in. And if you are not sure, it's methodfi.co. If you go to methodfi.co, you can join the Discord, Telegram, Twitter to keep up to date with Method Finance. And the alpha that we just dropped, uh, Black Swap partnership with Method Finance coming up next week. So definitely get in there and uh, get 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 some sweet APY. Uh, thanks so much, Haxor, for joining. Uh, thank you very much, Zaki. That's it. Wraps it up for today. And uh, congratulations to Method Finance. Continued success, and uh, we look forward to having you on again and 
seeing how things continue into the world of NFTs in DeFi. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Thanks. See you guys. Bye-bye. Yeah.